Ever wondered how to make the best samosa at home? Welcome to a culinary journey where we unravel the art of samosa making. Imagine biting into a perfectly crisp pastry, brimming with flavorsome filling, all crafted with your own hands. It's a simple process, really. We'll be kneading the dough, concocting a hearty filling, assembling our triangular delights, and finally, frying them to golden perfection. The result? Delectable homemade samosas that are nothing short of spectacular. So, are you ready to dive into the world of homemade samosas? First things first, the dough, the foundation of your samosa. The samosa's iconic flaky shell starts its life as a simple dough. The ingredients are straightforward, flour, water, oil, and a dash of salt. But the magic lies in how these ingredients are brought together. Begin by taking your flour and adding the salt to it, giving it a good mix. Now create a small well in the center of your flour salt mix and pour in the oil. Slowly start incorporating the water, mixing as you go. The aim is to create a stiff yet pliable dough, not too soft, not too hard, just right. Once you've got your dough mixed, it's time to knead. Use your palms, press down and push forward, working the dough until it's smooth and elastic. This might take a bit of elbow grease, but believe me, it's worth it. Finally, let the dough rest. This break allows the gluten in the dough to relax, yielding a tender, flaky crust. And there you have it, your samosa dough is ready to be rolled out. Now, let's move on to the filling, the heart of the samosa. The filling is where the magic happens, where you infuse flavor into your samosa. We'll be making a classic potato and pea filling. You'll need some boiled potatoes and peas, and an array of spices to jazz things up. Start by cooking the potatoes until they're just the right texture. Soft, but not too mushy. Then, it's time to bring on the spices. We're talking about cumin, turmeric, garam masala, and a dash of chili powder for that extra kick. Fry these spices in a hot pan to release their aroma before adding your cooked potatoes and peas. Stir everything together, making sure the potatoes and peas are well coated with the spices. This mix of ingredients will create a filling that is flavorful, hearty, and absolutely delicious. Voila! Your filling is ready to be tucked into the dough. It's time to bring your samosa to life. Start by rolling out the dough into a thin sheet. Spoon your flavor-packed filling into the center, then fold the dough over, sealing the edges with a dab of water. Now, on to the sizzling finale. Heat your oil until it shimmers, then gently lower in your samosas. Fry them until they are a mouth-watering golden brown. Once done, let them cool on paper towels to drain any excess oil. And there you have it. The perfect homemade samosa.